Hi, my name is Amanda, also known as Mrs. Archiver, and welcome to this video. I haven't put up a video in a bit because I have been working on a project. Yay! And I was kind of torn between making video content for my planner or working on the project that I've been wanting to work on for some time. It has been a lot of trial and error, believe me, and over a course of a year, I think, I think I got it down. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you today. In case you're wondering, I do all of my vlogging, video record, and also I take photos with my iPhone 7 Plus. Yes, I know that we're on the iPhone 13 already, but you know, yeah, I feel old, but I use stuff until I can't anymore, and I'm also using what I have. So what I use to make my stickers is my iPad, and the app that I'm using is Procreate. I actually draw out every single piece, and then you're gonna just do the layers of your image. And then from there, I end up saving the image as a PNG file. A PNG file is gonna be the cut file. I then upload that image to the computer, which is where I use the Cricut Design Studio to cut the image. Okay, so now we're in the Cricut Design Studio software and we're gonna go ahead and upload that PNG file. And you can probably hear my dog eating in the background, so please don't mind her, she is very hungry. You're gonna then select your file and you're gonna hit add to canvas. Once you have your image here, you can then resize it to whatever size that you want. But if you do want another duplicate of that, just hit duplicate and then you'll have another set. But what I'm going to go ahead and show you is that you can have, this is like the sticker sheet layer that I use. So you're going to hit, well, I'm hitting my projects because I already have this saved in my computer. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit customize because I want to show you the layers. So I'm going to highlight this whole area. And these are the layers that you would want. So you're going to have your sticker layer first, and then you're going to have your background image. Now the background for your sticker is going to be a JPEG file. And then you'll go ahead and have your basic cuts behind that layer. I usually use about five to six. It just depends on how new your blade is. If your blade is kind of old, you may need to put a higher pressure of your blade and then um, adjust that. But then you'll go ahead and just select all the image and then hit attach. So that way everything's attached and then you'll hit make it. Once you hit make it, you're gonna hit continue. And then when you hit print, here's a little other tip. Bleed or no bleed. For any white background images, I hit no bleed. It's just a preference that I, that I have. But if you have a black or image, then use bleed. I use the system dialog to go ahead and pop up. It will pop up in the back of the software. And then once that pops up, you can then adjust the quality of the prints and also what type of paper that you will be printing on. Then from there, it will go ahead and go toward your printer. So the printer that I'm using is an Epson XP 7100. I did some research and I highly encourage you to do your own research when it comes to printers because it all depends on what you can afford, what your budget is and all of that. But for me, this one was affordable. It didn't break the bank and it was also a nice upgrade because I mean, I was using scissors. <laughs> but the other question that I end up getting is, am I team Cricut or Team Silhouette. I am Team Cricut because it was a bundle package that was affordable to me at the time. And this, these scissors were what I was using before, so it was definitely an upgrade, if you know what I mean. Now, if for some reason it's not cutting properly after your test cut, 
then you can go into the design, Cricut design software and calibrate your cutting. You calibrate it until you get it perfect of how you like it. I do that, I do a test, if it's off, then I calibrate it, and then after that, it's fine, and I don't have any problems after. And this is a vinyl mat, and it's water resistant, and supposedly scratch proof, I don't know. But that's what I use. Let me show you how my first physical stickers have come out. Well, when I say first physical, like, wow, I'm like being so physical right now. But when I say physical, I've done this a few times and it's taken me some time to like get it to where I actually want it. I mean like two nights back to back of staying up till four o'clock in the morning trying to figure out how to get it just right. So let me give you a peek. I'm going to a planner meetup and so I'm going to be taking some little sample stickers for my friends. And these are going to be the physical stickers that I'm going to be carrying in my coffee shop. I'll probably have them on Etsy also because I know that there's some people that like to shop on Etsy, but I would prefer if you guys went to my coffee shop instead because they really do help support artists and small business owners like me. This has been a long-term project that I've wanted to do for some time, and I'm happy that I've gotten to the point that I'm at right now. It seems so simple, but when you don't know, you don't know. Once you learn how, you're like, oh, yeah, that's all that I needed to do. Yeah, that's crazy, and that's simple. Well, I want to say thank you for joining me on this little sticker-making journey of little tips and some tricks. But anyway, I better go because I got to upload this stuff onto the shop. And that's going to take a minute, but if you're seeing this video, they're probably already there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.